Ew. It looks like somebody peeked down right in front of that mattress there. Holy shit. What's up everybody? My name is CJ Faison. Welcome to the Faison Nation. If you're watching this video, you're already part of the family because I love you guys and girls so much. And today, I'm at an abandoned Days Inn. And I'm with my man, Sonny Deeds. Do me a big favor, go to his channel, drop a, a just like a, like I don't even know. Um, so Sonny, go show him some love on that channel. Please, please, and thank you from me to you to Sonny. Please do that for him. Go and subscribe to his channel, like his video. We're gonna actually have two different perspectives of this video. But uh, without any further ado, let's get going. All right, so as you all can see, these rooms are completely, completely wrecked. Oh my. Dying dreams. Who is Paula Sims? I don't know who Paula Sims is. Whoa. Guys. This place has been ransacked. Obviously you can see like people have gone and gotten the copper out of the walls like which is pretty ignorant but. This looks like. Whoa. Dude look at all the broken glass. It's just mounds of glass out there. Hi, welcome to Days End. How may I help you? How Would you like you a room? <laughs> Would you like a king or a, a double? Um, I tell you what, I'm kind of big. Give me a king size. Okay. Uh, yep, we can do that. Be in another building, dude. What? Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, those are fresh. Oh shit! There's all kinds of food over here. Is there? Is there? Okay, one thing I want to let you guys know, um, when you watch these videos, it is extremely dangerous uh, to go into places like this. We have no idea what we're going to run into. Um, wow. People are actually living here or whatnot, but uh, I'm going to spin it around here. I'm going to show you. See, they look on the wall. Oh. What? Oh, so, shit. Kind of yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's lovely. Pentagram and hail. Hail Satan. Oh, that's Satan. lovely. So, <laughs> hey, pray for the guys. We might not make it out of here. Yeah, dude, that's honestly the last thing I wanted to see on the wall. Like, yeah, really, really. <laughs> doesn't really make me feel comfortable. That's for sure. We're going to. Uh, I'm go ahead and, wow. Uh, you can see outside here. Ow. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, already scared the shit out of me, too. Uh, whole other side over there. As you all can see down this hallway, this guys and girls. Just... Whoa. Look at that. If that doesn't creep you, I don't know what will. So let's try and go down here and see what we can find. Okay, there is what I would seem to believe um, actual like uh, human feces, a sock, and one nasty, nasty pillow and blanket. Wow. Mattresses and stuff like that, still on the floor, like hey, just left. So I definitely should have uh, brought a mask. Um, 
it's like um, you know like when you're breathing like really heavy and like you can't really breathe that well like that's what that feels like when you're walking down that hallway because all the mold and must and just whoa sunny 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 guys all right all jokes aside here up there in that room was a person Dude, I'm like shaking right now. Straight across. Oh, see, there's like a homeless person shopping cart right down there. See that? Yeah. There's obviously somebody here. I hope so. I hope not. <laughs> CJ, there's two of us. And one of them that will kick For real though, I'm gonna go over there. Are you? Yeah. Are you gonna explore this building? Yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick walk through and cool. look upstairs. All right, and then we'll swap. Yeah. I'll go check that out. You go check that one out. Holler. Holler. I'm a scream. <laughs> All right, guys. So, not going to lie. I'm actually a little nervous to go over here. This is, um, you know, you all have been wanting me to step outside my comfort zone. It's like that's exactly what I'm going to try and do for you all here on this video is literally step outside of my comfort zone. Um, you all know that typically when, like, things go down, I run. That's just natural reaction, and I would, you know, you all would do the same thing, trust me. Like if you were put in, in, in my situation, you all would do the exact same thing, for sure. So I've stayed in like plenty of days in hotels over the years. Um, you know, every every time we've gone racing, stuff like that, um, you know, days in, whoa. There's a basement under the days in. Like legit basement down here. Golly dang. Oh my gosh. I'm curious to see if Sonny will actually find that or not, the basement down there, but look at this place, guys. Okay, that's fresh, guys. You can see that's like burritos from a legit person living here for sure. Trying to stay as far away from these rooms as I possibly can. Just in case. I've actually, um. I'm trying to make sure there's nobody in these rooms here. Alright, I think it's because of the rain. A lot of it is. Okay. All right, guys and girls, I'm not exactly sure what that noise was, but it sounded like something obviously moved on one of the top floors up there. Not exactly sure what that was, but wow. All right, so um, yeah, this is a uh, awful creepy. Oh, look at that. See that one up there? That makes me believe that someone is like actually living there. So, I mean, literally, if you ask me, it looks like the hotel, like, obviously, maybe went bankrupt. And 
like there's no doubt in my mind like there's TVs there's beds everything still inside these rooms here like that's what gets me guys is like this is literally like they up and just left completely left Just so you all can see that I am not messing with anyone right now. Okay. I'm actually hearing like voices. If you guys hear anything or see anything, comment below, let me know. But on this lactose free milk, you can see the expiration date on that. June 14th. 2018 and today's June something I don't even know my days run together now We need masks bad. Oh man. Whoa. All right. Not exactly sure if you all can see, but up in there, there's a mattress against that room. And then there's a mattress way back there where the bathroom would be. And it, uh, you know, it obviously, it looks like it's blocked. Alright guys and girls, um, so I was flying my drone just a minute ago, waiting on Sonny. Sonny, you can go to his video, there was a door that had a string on it in his video, and basically, he went and it, I guess the door said Irma, he, well he opened the door that said Irma, and next thing you know, there's a candle burning inside, okay? As I was flying my drone, I was noticing up in the top over here, okay? So I was noticing right up through those rooms right there and in that room that has a mattress over it right over there. I was flying my drone that way. And while I looked up, I looked up because I swore. You know how like you just feel like someone's looking at you? That's what I felt like. So I was like, ah, I don't know about this. So then, as soon as I was... Yeah, I know, I do too. But then as soon as I looked over, it looks like somebody peeked down right in front of that mattress there. So, uh, hey guys. that's well, creepy as hell. That's, I've had enough then. Yeah. <laughs>
Some homeless people are actually neat. Some people, yeah, some homeless people are really nice. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this at least. It's been um, rather interesting. Guys, just so you know that we're not fucking with you. There's a person. Oh, walked right down that way. Holy shit. Did you get him? I think I did, yeah. <laughs> I think I got him. I hope I did get him. Guys, I'm sorry if I didn't, but literally, like, we're getting in the truck, and the guy walks right through there. With his backpack on. With his backpack on. You gotta put it in gear, Sonny. Oh, shit. Like, I was just flying my drone. Like, what the hell? Literally riding by this location, and we're like, boom, that's it. So, Sonny spotted it out. I was actually on my phone looking up locations around where we were. So, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Um, okay. There's another one. That's the guy. I, I'm not speculating, but I'm like almost sure. This guy right over here, guys and girls, standing right there. The person that was behind that mattress had a two-toned hat on just like that. And I almost wonder if that's him, like legit. So just to kind of recap that, um, I'm 90% sure that guy with the two-toned hat was the actual person that was behind that mattress while I was flying the drone. So it was really creepy in there, and I had a feeling that you know homeless people had to have lived in there. And you know we don't mean any disrespect by going in and exploring. It's just urban exploration is what this is. So um, you know there's no no trespassing signs, nothing like that. Um, so obviously, you know, we don't recommend you all going and exploring. You know what I mean? We're gonna park for a second. <laughs> You're gonna park it's for a second. Dangerous. Go down there. Damn it. Yeah, we went past two of them. See if you can get to it through there. So sorry, this video is like really chopped up here at the end. Um, but I really want you all to know as soon as we went in, I knew that we were in for something. But like, you, I just have that gut wrenching feeling hell yeah, we can get through there. So I'm gonna go see um, Sonny, he's gonna step outside the car. I think he's gotta make a phone call. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this shopping center that was right next to the Days Inn. I'm gonna see if I can get any footage of uh, any of these people walking around outside because that guy scared the shit out of me when he came by, dude. Oh, uh, the one that walked down the yeah, yeah. yeah. When yeah, I was yeah. flying my drone, I knew just, it. I, you know how you can feel somebody looking at you? Uh -huh. That's exactly what I felt like. And I'm like, <laughs> oh man, my heart uh, dropped. Cause I looked over and then something ducked down behind that mattress and that's why those mattresses are up like that, dude. Mm -hmm. That may be why, like I said, cause if you jump over and check out uh, my video of that place, there was a candle that was burning in one of the upstairs rooms. And um, you can see where somebody, this is about as far as I can yeah, yeah, yeah. I go over there. Yeah, go right over but there. But you could see that somebody uh, was in there fairly recently or still in there for that candle, candle to be burning. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm interested to know, so as you can see, we can kind of see it through the trees here. I'm interested to know whether or not we're gonna see anybody. So you said it was like the third room in, like, so that would be like one, two, three, or four. That second little awning type thing right there. Yeah, that one? It's either one side or the other of that one. You know okay, so it's about? either on, it's either that one there or that one there. Right. Legit. They I can see us, we can't see that. Exactly, yeah, they're back there in the darkness there, but um, I went up on the second floor and about two or three doors down, uh, a door was closed, had a, a string around the doorknob. There was Irma was the name written on the door. So jokingly, I just pushed the door open and called Irma and just happened to notice that inside on one of the counters, there was an actual candle that was burning. So somebody had been in there fairly recently or they still were in there. Um, there's a, a mattress was was kind of catty corner across the, one of the covering up one of the corners and there was another room kind of like a bathroom or a closet or something like that wasn't going in there wasn't trying to disturb anybody I don't know what's around that corner so I just backed out and, and left Irma alone so but yeah definitely pretty 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 creepy mm -hmm.